Hi Pro Writers, my name is Catherine and I'm a student at Stanford University. You normally know me from my YouTube channel, The Calf Bath, but today I'm here to talk to you guys about how to shorten your essays, how to make your writing more concise, how to cut words, whether you're trying to get your writing under a word limit or just make your writing more concise in general because good writing is concise. You want to say what you have to say in the least words possible while still saying it eloquently. This video is going to be helpful for you. My first tip is to cut out all of the words that you are using to identify yourself in the essay. And what I mean by this is if you have a sentence that says, for me, this was a very enriching experience. You don't need that for me because the admissions office or whoever is reading your writing knows that you're talking about things that are for you. So if you're using phrases like, I believe. They know you're talking about your beliefs. Not to say that you shouldn't ever use phrases like that if you maybe are talking about a controversial opinion, but if you're saying like, I believe, for me, it seemed to me, a lot of times I find that writers use these words unnecessarily. So go through your essay, find every place where you have any sort of like, for me, it seemed to me kind of a thing and analyze, do I really need this here? What if I took it out? Would the reader still be able to infer that I was talking about my thoughts and my experiences? My next tip may seem rather intuitive, but you'd be surprised how often I see this happening in the essays that I review. So cut out any two phrases, one of the two, when they're right next to each other and they convey the same thing. So think of this as maybe saying something like, my freshman year when I was 18, so your freshman year is indicating the time frame and sort of your age, and so is when I was 18. You don't need both of those. Pick through your essay, see anywhere you have that sort of like, you know, descriptive phrase, comma, descriptive phrase, and do those descriptive phrases mean the same thing? If yes, that's a really great place to cut down your words because you're not losing any of the meaning of your essay. My next couple tips can just take out kind of one word at a time here and there, but I think if you do all of these, it can really add up throughout your writing. So the first one of these is anywhere that you have comma and, or some type of like comma conjunction, if it's appropriate, you can replace that with a semicolon. So maybe that just cuts three words throughout your whole essay, but hey, if you're three words over the word limit, that's exactly what you need. So a semicolon can be used to connect two independent clauses, but make sure those independent clauses are related in some type of way. I'm sure if you're already using a conjunction between them, they are, but just wanna throw that out there. The next tip for just getting that like one word gone is to look at the word that. So, so often I see students in their essays using the word that unnecessarily. Think of this as something like, he said that I was nice versus he said I was nice. I think when we're speaking, we have a tendency to overuse the word that and it translates into our writing. So I would say go through your essay, every single place you have written the word that, see if you can read it without the word that and does it still make sense? If yes, cut it out. My next tip for just getting that one word out of there is to cut out unnecessary descriptive details. So sometimes you have descriptive details that are necessary to setting the mood or the tone of the story or even just like the setting period. But sometimes we just use details that we don't need. Think of this as like saying he shut the front door behind him versus saying he shut the door behind him. You don't need that front. That front isn't adding anything to the story. It may even be implied within the story you're talking about that the door is the front door. And this can really be whatever kind of details you're using. This doesn't necessarily have to apply to just sort of a, a narrative. This can apply to any type of essay you're writing. My next tip to just help you cut a couple words at a time is surrounding double verbs. So think about a sentence where you say, I learned all this new knowledge then I utilized and applied it to my work or saying, I love this organization. I spent so many hours working and volunteering for them. So I think a lot of times when we're writing, we have a tendency to kind of want to put in the most amount of interesting best words we can. So we have a tendency to use double verbs such as utilize and apply or work and volunteer. When the words are too similar in meaning, of course they, they don't mean exactly the same thing, but they're too similar to need both of them, especially when you're in a word crunch. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Those are all my tips for this video. Make sure you check out the next one to learn more tips about how to improve your writing.